Hi guys, Sam Chi. Hope you all are doing well today. After watching this video, you will agree with me that a lot of crimes are linked to poverty, unemployment, especially in countries that their economy is not doing well at all. Now listen, if you're a girl watching this video, a lady, please share because now if you're a lesbian, <laughs> you're in trouble because if guys could do it, it means that some girls are equally in the business. Also, if you're gay, homosexual, be careful as well. Okay, so now um, I'll play guys the video so that you get idea of what I'm trying to, you know, explain to you guys. Okay. So now I'll play the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Then at the end, I'll tell you my own last thought. Let's go there. Let's join them. It's not up to two weeks. So it's it's not not it's it's Let's join them. It's not up what, what, what's this group all about? We are straight guys that stop money from gay people. Not really gay. If you talk about it, you slap me. Hello. 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 You are slapping. Oh, no. I, I, I set up gay people. Yes. I set up gay people. I set up gay people and I set up gay people. I set up gay people and I set up gay people. Hold it. 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 Yeah, <laughs> did you hear that guy with a deep voice imagine he was a gay himself <laughs> imagine how it would be in the bedroom with his partner well these guys were arrested like caught in lagos state you know where they do blackmail gay guys and also extort money from them and also their personal belongings so well you ask yourself mm, the two parties supposed to be arrested as well because there's a law in nigeria that says 14 years in prison for them well mm, they are human beings uh, even the big politicians too are in the business so that's why that law will never see the light of the day it will never be carried out on any of them well, the thing is this, hmm? these guys are jobless, quite alright, they don't have jobs, but you know, waiting don't enter, don't enter, that means the gay guys will first of all be benching them, benching them, like banging them, then uh, one of their colleagues, you know, it's a group, like a gang, then the other group will now bust in and say, hey, we have caught you guys, we have caught you guys, then they will start begging, please, 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 you know, then the real gay guy, you know, the one they want to blackmail, will not start begging because they will say, We're going to arrest you guys, take you to a police station. You know, you've been in prison for 14 years. They'll be like, um, Your parents will know about it. We're going to post it online, you know, we're going to expose you. So he will start begging because maybe his family member doesn't know, maybe wife doesn't know, children doesn't know, or friends. So because of that shame, you know. And the fear of the unknown what will happen so the person will start pleading they will ask okay let's negotiate how much can you pay because they go around with their pos <laughs> imagine so out of fear the person will be like okay i'll give you guys this amount okay take my wristwatch take my gold chain take my gold ring my golden earring so they'll not surrender a lot of things even if their belts are uh, <laughs> you know expensive they'll take it from them their shoes they'll take it from them a lot of you know things they'll take from them and then leave them so well <laughs> so that means they are all guilty you know so the thing is this um um i don't know what to say again or you know, because it itself shocked me i never knew that something like this you know will be happening in nigeria as well imagine blackmailing blackmailing gay people also lesbians too girls you have to be careful that means girls too could be into the business of blackmailing maybe girls too or ladies who are also lesbians you know set them up and many of them have been set up like this but out of shame they cannot come out and speak out so when you're online social media platforms you see whether you're lesbian or homosexual eh? when you're online you see somebody chatting you telling you i'm interested in you blah 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 you know or some people will position to be like gay meanwhile they are straight because these guys said they are straight right mm -hmm. so be careful the kind of people you chat with not all of them are real some are there to blackmail you imagine who knows how many people they have even kidnapped you know they have to interrogate them more interrogate them more to find out to the extent they have gone in this business and um you see this is why many girls will never find husband to marry because most of them someone who is meant to marry them have already converted to be gay <laughs> yes most of them will remain single unless they force themselves to any guy you know and just marry anyhow Yes, because the rate at which 
this thing is moving oh my boy it's alarming very very alarming well in as much we love them all but we just want them to stop the acts let me tell you some people have even just tasted it some people just want to taste it for fun girls have done it for fun they just like ah, let me even test this thing and see how it, how it feels to be a lesbian they do it some do it for money come abroad even guys abroad yeah when they come in they do it white men just to get money eh? <laughs> so well um some people don't even know that their husband their brother or their friend is into it they don't know um these people have a way to disguise themselves a lot but maybe with their acts there's a way they behave that will make you start thinking this person could be it though some are bisexual they can do man they can do woman you know so that is it so well i would like you to tell me your own thoughts in the comment section hmm? where are the victims those ones too <laughs> imagine taking them to the police station police will say or in the court court will say where are the people that said that these people blackmail them we those ones be able to show up in the court to come and explain what has happened to them because there is a law too that says that they should not be doing it eh? that is not meant to happen in the country so i don't think they'll summon the courage to come to the court to explain themselves out because they're equally as guilty as child because if these guys now that have been arrested you know caught imagine them to the court their own lawyer their own lawyer will now say where are the people they say law against you as well so if you say these guys will go to jail then you people too will go to jail yes do not tell them mention all your victims how many people have you extorted from do not start mentioning if i started about 50 people okay let's go and get all of them will they be able to come out no they will also run away because they don't want to be exposed because many of them their family members don't know about it they don't know some are even in church you know some are pastors you know so i don't think they will come out so i think this case when it gets to court these guys i don't know if the judge will sentence them because the judge cannot sentence them without sentencing the other ones i think maybe they should be punished severely or maybe they should probably be jailed maybe seven years they should get seven years half of the 14 years they could have given to the gay people you know they should give them seven years in prison or even maybe something worse than that because these guys are dangerous because before you know it from uh, uh, blackmailing extorting money taking belongings you know before you know it, they could go into arm robbery which is one of the one of the deadliest as well before you know it human parts they will start harvesting selling you know so that's why i think if possible just jail them for life and all the remaining gang members they should track them and also jail all of them for life because these kind of human beings are very very dangerous because they themselves could form to be the gay then trying to hunt people eh? to hunt people from facebook instagram name it snapchat all social media platforms they'll go there positioning themselves as gay just as to lure guys who will now come for them to now book a place in that place is where they will now trap the person and threaten the person who knows whether they even threaten their victims with gun and also with knife or threaten to buy them there so well i think um now that it has been exposed it means that this has been happening for years you know that one just said he just joined newly meaning that month by month new they are recruiting new members into their gang of crime so i think um it's something people should be careful of especially those who are real lesbian and real homosexuals yes you have to be careful your life is at, is at risk as it is now so that is it mm -hmm. share the video out share it out man so that mm, they will not fall into traps like this and it's not in lagos it happens alone it could be happening all over ninja yes it could be happening all over Yes, because before you knew it, one person will leave the gang and go and create his own in his own state. Yes, so before you know, it's spreading. Spreading. Well, it's all right. <laughs> Imagine. They are benching them all. The real gay will bench them. And I don't think that these guys are not gay themselves. Maybe they are equally gay themselves, just that maybe they are scared that if they confess that they are gay, maybe when they get to court, they will be jailed for the 14 years. Because how can you say you are not gay, you are straight, and you are mingling with someone who is gay and the person is kissing you banging you sucking you you say you're not gay <laughs> they're all the same thing all right guys see my next video that means them too they were set up that means they set them up as well 
Yes, they have to set them up. Maybe they, they engaged with the wrong guy. Yes, they engaged with the wrong guy. Maybe the, that guy who is a gay now went and reported to his boys and said, look what they did to me. Oh, I need to get these people. So maybe his boys now went into action to now bait these ones as well and catch them like rats. And now they are confessing. When they were doing it, they were happy. Oh. When they were doing it, they, they were happy. Blackmailing people, extorting from them. They were very happy because they would take photos of their victims. Take photo, make video. Use it now to threaten them. Making calls, threatening them. It happens like that as well. Not Sometimes they do it physical. Sometimes they now start calling them on phone. Telling them, if you don't do this, we'll show your photo everywhere. We know where you live. we we'll take you to the police, blah, blah, blah. You know? So that's it. It's all right. It's good that um, they are not tracking them down. So I know that the rest of their gang members will see this video and be like, man, I cannot engage in this thing again. Oh, <laughs> let me go and find a job. If you have made some little cash, why don't you invest in it? Maybe buy a car and start doing Uber and be driving taxi. Eh? Be useful to yourself. Will you continue in crime for the rest of your life? That's the problem. When they make money, they want to keep making money through that way because to them, it's, an, it's a new area that has not been tapped by many people. So they are the first in this business. So they want to continue, 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 you know, for the rest of their life. And they'll be making money. People say, hey, God is blessing this guy. Yo. Ever since this guy, I've been going to church. God has been blessing him. Not neither. He's living a fake life, illegal lifestyle. You know, bad money. Yes. From blackmailing people, they get this money, they are living life. People think it's their business, that their business is booming. They say, Hey, young boy, this young boy, I've started seeing money. It's not a Yahoo guy. You, I know him very well, not knowing that, you know, he does things like this. So, that's it. These are people's brothers, too, people's children as well, doing this kind of thing. You see, some girls don't know that their boyfriend is a wife to another guy, <laughs> or their boyfriend is a husband. To another guy the same thing as girls you have a girlfriend you will not even know that your girlfriend is a husband to another girl or your wife to another girl so i don't know it's all over the world not just nigeria i'm out of here man i'm chi chao like share and subscribe see you guys